evening guys so not done a video for a few days bike is currently in the same state used as a clothes horse however tonight i'm going to be doing a few things on it inside here we've got a new battery that's been supplied by craig um and also a little bag of goodies in here so let's go through a few things dot 5.1 again dot 5.1 and some racing fluid reason behind this being okay, let's just move these out of the way for now the reason behind this is um with this bike having a hydraulic clutch being one um it boils basically just the clutch it gets red hot um, due to the nature of the bike producing a lot of heat it's forced induction isn't it so it's common sense in some aspects this fluid here um, I don't know its properties yet. I'm going to probably download its file from online just to work out basically where I'm at. But as you can tell, it's an older vessel. But from what I've gathered on Google already, it's a very high temperature. Now I'm going to use that in the clutch. Dot 5.1 has once again got a higher boiling point. Um, this bike's land speed wheelie bike, whatever you want to describe it as. Um, so the brakes are kind of the route where I want to basically make sure everything's perfect. So tonight, I'm going to bleed the brakes. I'm also going to bleed the clutch as well. Um, I'm going to have to do a bit of jiggery-pokery because, as you can see, um, we've got blind speakers, canvases, we've got all sorts in here tonight. Um, positive and good news, my friend who is doing the Yorks, um, I'm going to have a chat to him about doing some vlogging. It seems that it's going to be okay, but I just want to verify stuff because you've got to remember this is his shop. It's not mine. I've got to go through a few things. So tonight in this video, you're going to see us pottering around, bleeding the brakes. Initially, what I'd like to do is as well, I want to true the back wheel up and get that absolutely perfect. Um, I'm going to get as much on camera tonight as I actually can because I've kind of neglected it really. It's become, for me, this has become like a verbal vlog which is not really what I want this to be. I want people to see what I'm doing, but it's very hard filming stuff on your own. I'd love to have someone here talking to me, going through it all. The videos, rather than six minutes to 11 minutes long, will probably be bloody nearly an hour. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So we've got a new battery. We've got clutch fluid, brake fluid uh, in here. So the wire, oh, that's it. So this here is locking wire for the grips. In the past, I've had the grips move. Um, I've, I've currently, this one is actually super, that one is super glued on. Um, I know that is the stupidest thing to do in the world, but the thing is, when your grip starts moving at Elmington at 180 mile an hour because you're holding on and you're wheeling like this, it's not a good move. Um, in another goodie bag, we've got wire grippers. Bear in mind, these are all from Craig. I can't thank him enough. We've got a tool here, which I will show you all at some point what that does, but that's a little miniature secret at the minute. Of course, more snips and the Pierre the Resistance. A proper multimeter. Now, as everyone knows, oh, there's even more in there. Look at that. Like I say, this is all thanks to Craig. A few people have been helping me recently, which means a hell of a lot to me. Um, I've always struggled on my builds on a shoestring. Everybody knows me, personally knows. I'm no celebrity. I go to work every day like people do, get up at six, out for seven, back at seven at night, long days. It just is the way it is. And unfortunately, the job I'm in mean, doesn't pay <laughs> a lot of money. You know, if you're affiliated with the NHS in any way, you'll fully understand what I'm talking about. But nevertheless, I've got a job and it's paid for things up to now. It's not extravagantly. I've scrimped and saved for months to get to where I'm at now. Um, and also, I'm going to be at a top speed Tuesday tomorrow. You'll probably see this tonight or maybe in the morning. I'm uploading because my internet's a bit pants at the minute. But anyway, I'm going to cut it here. You're going to see some bits, probably more of me talking in a bit, actually. Um, but yeah, we're going to get there. And thanks to Ellie, who did my brakes for me here. They're looking... Um, Pretty nice, I think. Obviously, a few people asked about the singular lines going across down there. And I've said in the post, um, I've had a lot of people slating these brakes. Uh, they've been a bit weird with me about them. Now, if someone out there wants to sponsor me <laughs> a set of £1,000 brake calipers and some new fancy billet, this and whatever, then by all means, send an, e send an email to me. Then I'll quite happily work with you. Until then, I'm going to carry on on a budget like I've done for the whole bike and uh, just enjoy it. But yeah, guys, I can't wait to show you these yokes. Trust me, you want to see the design me and my friend did the other day. It's, uh, 
Yeah, it's getting me excited. And also, this thing's going to be getting the wheel taken out of it tonight. That's going to be one of the tasks. But yeah, waffling on. Cheers, guys. One of these batteries. Um, <laughs> I've never actually put acid in a battery before, so that's going to be uh, a bit of an experience. So, yeah, strip these off. Bang that on. Living the dream. This is what we're doing. Really should have glasses on, I both would have thought. Here we go. States about using the pin as well, which obviously you need to do. This is great. Now, I believe this is the electrolyte mixed with acid. You can see it going in there. You can probably hear it as well. Putting this new battery on, mainly because the one that's on it, the motor bat, this one, don't get me wrong, meant to be a very good battery in fact. Um, don't really get many negative reviews on them whatsoever. Um, I left it off charge for months, sat it there, banged it on charge, went to start bike, bang, killed it. So it ain't working, simple as. So this is where we're at now, new battery, um, supplied by Craig, very, very kind of him, greatly appreciate his support again. You know, it's really, really come to it now. Um, there's so many people that have actually started helping me in regards to bike, and it's quite, it's quite nice if I'm completely honest to, to have people. And these are not people who are well off or rich in any sort of ways. And um, there's a few, like I say, my machinist as well. He's, he, I, I can't fault him enough. He, he can't fault him. That's the wrong terminology in, in every way. Um, yeah. So right. Let's get on with this blade breeding. This will be a good idea. I'm going to be using the new clutch fluid when I open it. Obviously, it's a little bit. Uh, I'm going to be using this. Yeah, it's beautiful in that in there. Spot on. Right, this is the racing clutch fluid. Now, I'm hoping with this, we don't get the boil that I've been having such an issue with, as the clutch in this would pretty much do about three runs. Um, and after three runs, I'd need to bleed it again. Underlyingly, there's more than likely an issue there. However, clutch works fine, locks up fine, got no issues. So it's just a matter of boiling, so it'll start bleeding. It's at this point, I'm probably going to speed it up a little bit for you. I've pulled it through. I mean, this is how much air comes in lines. As you can see, because you've got to be filling it across. Now with these, what I do is I use a syringe, which is here. I attach it via neoprene tube, which is here, and then on the bike there, no one-way valve. And I basically suck the fluid through. I don't, I don't back bleed. It's something I don't see the point in because you're just pushing the air around. You, you want to get it out. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm bleeding it through. Uh, it's going to it's going through pretty nicely to be completely honest. It's pretty simple. Just working it through now. You can actually see it down the bottom end. Obviously on the video you won't be able to. Um, but yeah, we're getting there with it slowly. Now um, what I like to say to people is with the bike being the way it is, a lot of people have mentioned to me regards not um, having these brakes on. Um, Obviously, I can't afford to not have these brakes on, as these are the only brakes I've got, obviously. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be on. Um, they're not that uh, expensive to fix when they do break. You can buy ceramic pistons for them. 
have been on bikes for many, many, many years. Obviously, some people just don't like them because uh, either they can't look after them. Well, that made me jump. Um, yeah, they can't look after them. Doesn't those look like oil? No, oil. Now, I'm already starting to get a bit of a feel, so what I'm doing is I'm pulling it through. Um, it takes a lot of time. You've got to think, there's a lot of fluid to go into these, to be completely honest. Um, anybody that bleeds brakes understands that. Ooh, nearly run it dry. It's one thing, when you change to like Brembo uh, reservoirs like this, they are absolutely tiny. So when you are working on your own and you don't have an assistant to help you or anything like that, so to be fair, I've got a few people that can come help me, but we've been in the weekday, you know, we're playing on a school night tonight. Um, we basically can't do that. So, so yeah, so I'm probably going to time lapse a bit more in this video, guys, because doing this is pretty monotonous, as uh, a lot of people <laughs> will know. Bleeding brakes is very, very boring. Probably one of the most boring things on a bike to do. Um, I could waffle on of plans and other things, but to be fair, I just want to get this bit rocked out. Yeah, and that's it, guys, all right?